Hey Canucks fans, the Vancouver Canucks have signed newly acquired Connor Garland to a five-year, $24.75 million contract. I just finished uploading my Braden Holtby video and then I hinted at this in my Braden Holtby video, you know, Braden Holtby going on waivers so the Canucks can buy him out. That old news, just kidding, it's old by about an hour or so. Now, the news of the day, the news of the hour, the news of the minute is Connor Garland getting a new contract. So let's break it down. I'll do my shout outs at the end of this video, even though I just did them about half an hour ago. Connor Garland, new contract, five years, $24.75 million total over those five years. And the salary cap hit for each of those years is $4.95 million. So just a, sh a shade under 5 million. So 4.95, 4.95, 4.95, 4.95 for five years times that by five you get your 24.75 million dollars over the the five-year term now there's no trade protection in this deal and um, early early results early feedback is that this is a pretty good deal for the Vancouver Canucks obviously it's a good deal for Connor Garland I'd make five million dollars a year but then I, there's nothing I'm good enough to do to make five million dollars a year well maybe no actually there isn't just making parody songs count. But this is a really good deal for the Vancouver Canucks because it's, for many reasons, it's security. Now you know um, that, you know you're locked into this player for five years. You know, obviously he wanted to be here. It gives you some, I, I think it's reasonable. Like he's not making as much as say Pedersen's going to make and Horvat and Besser and Miller. And that makes sense in my eyes. So, but I don't think the number is so, you know, so massive that it's going to cause cap problems at least more cap problems for the Canucks I think they have other cap problems to worry about as I've talked about many times including earlier this morning with the Braden Holtby deal so I like this and uh, I think it's good I think it's good and I think the general feeling around the industry not that I'm part of the industry but from what I'm seeing on Twitter already is that people like this deal now who is Connor Garland well he was a 2015 fifth round draft pick by the Arizona Coyotes and he his first contract was the typical entry level contract of you know, 800 grand or whatever. Then the last two years he made actually under 800. I think he made 775 for the past two seasons. But those past two seasons he's been a revelation. He had 39 points in each of his past two seasons. But two seasons ago that was in 68 games. Last season that was in only 49 games. That's right, 39 points in 49 games. That's basically a shade under 0.8 points per game. That is pretty, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty, that's like top line production. Now, granted, he was on the, got top line minutes in Arizona, whereas here in Vancouver, he's flexible, right? We've seen, we've seen projected likely to start on a second line with either one of Hogland or Podkolzin and Horvat. So uh, we've been talking about a second line of, of Garland, say, um, Hoglander and Horvat, then maybe a third line of Podkols and Pearson and Dickinson. You can switch Podkols and Hoglander if you want to. Regardless, you're not going to switch Connor Garland. You're not going to put Connor Garland on the third line. You're going to keep him in your top two. He can even spell off Brock Besser if they want to look for a different look up top. But yes, at least a second line player, but he was had first line production last season. So this is a good deal for him, right? He's going from 800 grand to four point, basically $5 million a year. A well-deserved raise but that's what you're paying for that's what you're paying for for you're locking them up for five years as opposed to one two or three years also you are um you have a guarantee he's young and he he plays with a bit of an edge which is pretty like what you like to see especially for a smaller guy you know kind of compared him to brad marchand i've heard that those comparisons maybe not so much of a jerk as marchand is but at least that stature and that compete level and that that determination so i really think that Connor garland is going to quickly become a fan favorite among the Canucks and now he's got five million dollars to um, a year to five million reasons to smile being part of this team so let's talk we talked about Brayden Hope earlier this morning we talked about now Connor Garland for the past few minutes I guess let's wind this up I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up having to do another video later today but uh, what do you think the Canucks um, what's next for them so that whole that gar the Hopi buyout, excuse me. Um, as I said, that that saves three point eight million dollars in cap space. A, a lot of that you can't just simply say that three point eight went to Garland because there's other things at play. But obviously, it helps. You need you you need to have that space. And the Canucks still have to sign Jason Dickinson, the other RFA that they got. Um, this one from Dallas. They also have to sign a fourth line center, 
and they got to figure out what they're going to do on the back end. Now, I, I vlogged about Luke Shen late last night. So could he be an option if Travis Hamnick doesn't come back? Or can they trade Nate Schmidt and his $6 million salary and then bring in Hamnick for two or three Shen? And then would you feel comfortable with the uh, right side of Myers, Hamnick, and Shen? Does that, Shen, does that kind of scare you a little bit? Or are you fine with that, given that that's another way that the Canucks can save two or three million dollars so also add to the pile now so they got to resign jason dickinson they got to get a fourth line center they got to find at least one more right shot d man they got to figure out what they're doing with nate schmidt and now they need a backup goalie and i mentioned yourself halak's name has been out there there's guys like james reimer there's guys like aaron dell so there are guys that have played in this league and can be decent backups so I'd say that's five things still that the Canucks need to address. And I said this right when they, they did the Jake Vertanen buyout, right when, um, you know, I, I said that the Jim Benning is not done. With, right, right after the Ekman Larson and Garland trade, I said the Canucks are likely not done. Jim Benning is likely not done, mostly because he needed cap space. So he got some of that cap space with the Braden Hopi buyout. That will happen tomorrow. He went on waivers today. So this is what the Canucks need to do still. They still got to sign Jason Dickinson, third line center, RFA. They got to find a fourth line center, whether that's Sutter, Boyd, or someone else. They got to figure out what they're doing with Nate Schmidt. They got to figure out, they're related to that, what they're going to do on the right side of the D. And then they got to find a backup goaltender. Just five simple things that the Canucks need to do. But wow, no shortage of things to talk about with this team. So, Canucks fans, Tell me, what do you think of this Connor Garland trade? Did you know a lot about him when he was in Arizona? Now that you've seen some highlights and heard from him, are you, like me, very excited to see him play for the Vancouver Canucks? Are you excited to see him uh, give Bo Horvat a legit scoring option on his wing for the first time since how long? And how are you feeling about this team right now? I'm really excited about this team. I I'm a little scared of what the cap is going to look like in a couple seasons from now. But, and I, I know the Canucks still, oh, by the way, also in what the Canucks need to do, I, the, the biggest one, they need to sign Elias Patterson and Quinn Hughes. So those are big ones as well. I can't believe I forgot that. So uh, that, that should be in top of mind. And, and when that happens, there'll be much jubilation in the streets. So in the comments, let's talk about Connor Garland specifically. Um, how are you feeling about this contract? Five years, 4.95 a year, 24.75 overall. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, or reply as always. Once again, shout out to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Justin Credible, Nux fan number 29, Lucas Gates, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shea Family Channel, Jamie Sports Talk and More, Shannon Hollingworth, and Andrew Chang. Thanks for your support as always. And thanks to the support of members of all levels. You are listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos or in the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. I think this is my fifth video in 24 hours. So Hall of Fame members, five distinct shout outs. That's why you all should become a Hall of Fame member. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Become a member of this channel if you like to. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And who knows, I might be coming to you later today with yet another Canucks vlog. Have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.